This Advent, I'm not sure what my calendar's counting down to. Come Christmas Day, I don't know if I'll be at home with family or if I'll be alone. It's usually a feast, a festival of peace. We usually fill these streets with music and dancing and food and drink and each other. Together is our usual way. This year we've got to find another. And these adverts say that it's okay, Christmas is coming soon and offer chocolate, like a doctor sticking plasters on a gunshot wound. Or they say, look to 2021, which feels like it might never come, but when it does, well, when it does, well, when it does, what will have changed? Will it flood like rain and wash away the stain of 2020's pain? Or will it disappoint again? Remember 2020 vision? Remember, 2020 is, is going to be a, 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 a fantastic year for Britain. We were so young, so naive. And isn't it silly to believe next year could be any different? Isn't it pointless to pretend we know when this will end or how this will end? And there sits Christmas with its colors and lights looking like it really hasn't read the room. The music and the food demand a party that we might not have the heart to throw. And maybe you want to know where on earth I'm going with this. If you're looking for solutions, I have nothing to say. There's nothing I could say or do to make this go away. Christmas doesn't change the nightmare that this year has been. Don't get me wrong, it's amazing, but it's not a vaccine. What does Christmas offer to a world at the end of its rope? Christmas offers hope. Christmas offers a king come down. Christmas offers a king come in. Christmas offers a God with skin who couldn't just stand by. A God willing to bleed and die to make things right. He came down to set things back on track. And all this pain ends when the king comes back. It's still hard, because we're still here. But Christmas will come through. And to a world that says, won't somebody do something? The king in the manger says, I already have.